is Local Edition. I'm Brad Palmer, and thank you so much for joining us again. Our guest is Rod Wright. Mr. Wright is a member of the California State Senate, and I want to speak with you about a bill that's being supported by the cable industry. Mm -hmm. It's not sponsored by the cable industry, but supported, mm -hmm. and it deals with a tax that would apply to satellite television, direct TV, yes. DISH. Talk to us about that bill which you are sponsoring. The, the Telecom Act of 96. Federal. Federal. When it was developed, tried to create a reduction in barriers to entry for other technologies. It did that with cell phone, it did that with direct satellite broadcasting. And it prevented local governments from placing any taxes on satellite broadcasters. But it recognized that as the marketplace changed, that you might want to later impose one. So it specifically says in section 602 that states can impose that tax. And there is a tax right now on cable companies in the state of California, like Time Warner Cable, like Charter, like mm -hmm. Comcast, like whomever. There are three actually. There's a franchise fee that is really no longer a franchise because there's no exclusive right to provide video. There is a utility users tax that varies from city to city. And then there's a public education and government charge which is, again, variable by city to city. And so the consumers who sign up for cable, be it Time Warner or whomever, pay those taxes. Yes. But if a consumer signs up for another service, a satellite service, I should say, no tax. Right. So you're looking to change that formula. The decision that a consumer makes for video shouldn't be based on whether or not it's taxed or not. It should be based on the service the itself. If the service, it, it did, it, it, the satellite's better, then they should get Which the Which we business. know it's not, of course. Or if the service, <laughs> that, you know, and again, and now there are actually three competitors because the incumbent telephone companies right. also provide video service, and in the new marketplace, Netflix, Hula, and Google also provide So under your proposal, television. it's only focused on satellite. It's not on the telcos? Well, the telcos already pay. They already are taxed. Yes, they're, they're taxed. Okay, so when, let's focus, go back to the proposal. Right. When, when the, again, the act specifically referenced satellite broadcasters. So in this bill, what it does is it takes up the provision in the federal law that allows states to levy the tax. California would be the 10th state to do that. Okay, so if it passes, I understand those funds are dedicated to a specific source. Where are you looking to have the, those funds flow? They would go pro rata back to the local governments from which they came dedicated to law enforcement. So what does law enforcement say about this proposal? They're, they're beginning, the Police Chiefs Association has come on board and the sheriffs and the other people are beginning to get there because what we would do is this money would go back to those cities specifically for law enforcement. And would it be new dollars or would it replace dollars? Well, technically it would be replacing dollars because everyone who previously had Time Warner Cable who switched to DirecTV, they went from paying whatever the tax was to but, nothing. But, but I guess what I'm saying is, you remember when the lottery passed and everyone talked mm -hmm. about all this money flowing to education. What mm -hmm. wound up happening was it just wound up replacing money. So would this be new money? Would the law enforcement be getting more money? Well, they, they'd be getting, if, if you go back five or six years, mm -hmm. this is the money that they used to get anyway. So you're really replacing what shifted as those customers moved. In the case of the lottery, it actually is new money. The problem is, is that the lottery is a billion dollars and the budget is $50 billion. I understand. So, I mean, as, as they say in Sacramento, I mean, if you've got a 2% increase, you can't see it. So talk to us about the politics of this proposal. Uh, you, you're on the Democratic side. Mm -hmm. Republicans often oppose new taxes. taxes right. How's it looking? Well, we're getting there because the money doesn't go to Democratic or Republican districts. Orange County will get a cut of cash. Riverside will get a cut of cash, Ventura, Santa Barbara, wherever it'll it go be. wherever people were using, excuse me, right. using the service. So it's not a case where it's going to go exclusively to one Democratic district. It's also available to public defenders. It's also available to I district see. attorneys. Okay, Rod Wright, thanks for joining us. We Thank appreciate you. it. He's a senator. I'm Brad Pomerantz. I'm your host. Back to HLN.